boots. We gotta get in there. Miguel, wait. We don't know if it's safe down there. We have to get the tin horns out. And the only way to do that is by going in. Yeehaw! Okay. You heard him, Clover. We have to get the tin horns out. I got here first, Dino Ranchers. This mine is mine! <laughs> oh no! The walls are cracking! They could crumble and fall any second! We need to get out! Nuh-uh! You're not tricking us into leaving our emeralds behind! Yeah! This cave is perfectly safe! No, it's not safe! We have to get out of here! All of us! <laughs> Quit running, Ike! Do you want us to save you or not? Yes, please. Ah! Help me. I'm trying to help. Oh no, the tow rig broke. <gasps> We're gonna have to pull them up ourselves. Uh, uh, Obi, you have to let go of the emerald. It's too heavy. Goodbye, shiny rock. Come on, Clara. We have to go. Quit trying to save me. I don't want to be saved. I want emeralds. On second thought, get me out of here. <gasps> what is it, girl? <laughs> Want emeralds? She thinks I want one. <gasps> Tango, I don't need emeralds. I just need to get us all safely out of here. <gasps> and we need to get out fast. Oh, Dino Ranchers! Amigos. <laughs> now, which flowers are we supposed to stay away from? What's it matter? They're just some silly old flowers. Hey, go on! Go! Get along, raptors! Can't stop! This hidden forest is full of amazing plants. Oh! <gasps> I've never seen one of these before. It's huge. John, that's a Venus flytrap. If you get too close, it could eat you. Woo! What? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Whoa! Phew. Seems like the forest doesn't want us poking around. Sorry for stepping on you. Would you like some water instead of some John? Did you all see that? Those dino ranchers got scared and high-tilted away from a plant. Yeah, a silly old plant. <laughs> well, I'm Clara Tinhorn, and I'm not scared of you. <gasps> Clara? <laughs> us very much. Yeah, Clara, maybe we should leave. Not until we find that Spinosaurus. Now let's go. Look, it's our new neighbor. Great thundering dinosaurs. Look at her go. Seen anyone ride a pterodactyl before? Howdy, neighbors! I'm Tara, and this here's my pterodactyl pal, Wilbur. <laughs> it's 
Great to meet you, Tara. I'm John. This is my sister, Min, and my brother, Miguel. And this is Blitz, Tango, and Clover. <coughs> We're the Dino Ranchers. Well, it sure is a pleasure to meet y'all. Wilbur and I have brought a special delivery for you. <coughs> our Sky High Cherry Pie. <coughs> it's our gift to you, our new neighbors. <gasps> Gee, thanks, Tara. That's mighty kind of you. We love your gift. <laughs> I can see that. Sorry we can't stay longer, but we have to gather a whole lot of hay for our fleet of flying taros back home. And let me tell you, pterosaurs love lots and lots of hay. Hi, yo, Wilbur! Giddy up, up, and away! Bye, Tara! Nice of Tara to give us such a great gift. <gasps> yeah, it would have been nice to have tasted some of it. Yeah, we should return the favor with something just as great. And I know exactly what to give her. This is a great idea, John. Tara's gonna be so surprised when we arrive with this big gift of fresh hay for her pterodactyls. Like Tara said, Pterosaurs love lots and lots of hay. And I love being a good neighbor. Ah! Uh-oh! Well, pteranodons! Yeah. Hey! You can't take our hay! It's a gift for our new neighbor! No, you don't. Oh. Yeehaw! You tell him, Clover. Vamanos, Tango! Let's go! Yeah, yeah! about it, it's Dino Dipsilliitis. The Dipsillies, huh? So that's why our dinos are acting so silly. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not serious. All they need is rest and some Dino Medicinal Dipsy Daisy Soup. That's right, Min. Let's round up all of the Dipsilly dinos and get them into the hatchery medical bay. Right, that way we can treat them before this spreads to the others. How do we know the dinos have caught the Dipsillies? The first stage is always the dino sniffles. Like that? Tango? Are you okay? Uh-oh. They've already got the hoot spinnies. That's stage two. Oh, Clover and Tango ate out of Angus's breakfast bucket. They must have caught the dipsillies from him. Min's right. Let's get Tango and Clover to bed before they reach stage three. Stage three? What's stage three? The all-out dino wackies. It starts with pouncing on shadows, followed by a lot of skipping and hooting. And finally, side prancing. Yep, that's when things will get really dip silly around here. Uh-oh, too late. They've got the dino wackies already. It's not gonna be easy to manage without Clover and Tango. At least Blitz is okay. 
We're sure gonna need his speed to help round up all these dipsilly dinos. Oh no! They're coming back! What's going on over there? Let's go check it out. I can't see where I'm going! Whoa! Where are they? <gasps> Dino Ranchers, we heard a loud ruckus. What happened here? Two Pteranodons flew down and took a wagon full of hay. We needed to get your hay back. Er, uh, um, uh, I mean our hay. We need to get our hay back. Getting it back won't be easy. Those wild taros live way up on top of Mile High Mesa. No problem. Climb aboard. You mean you'll fly us there? You bet your boots we will. Helping your friends is what a good neighbor is all about. Woohoo! Yeah! Right. Hang on to your hats, ranchers. Hi, yo, Wilbur! Giddy up, up, and away! What a view! I've never seen anything like this. It's so beautiful. I can't believe we get to live here. We're the luckiest kids alive! Wild pteranodons usually keep close to their home. Tara, have you ever seen them steal hay like that before? Nope, but like I said, pterosaurs love lots and lots of hay. Miguel, can you see anything with your dinoculars? Yes, there's the wagon, see? Yup, there it is all right. But there's no way we can get to it without those pteranodons seeing us. Well. We didn't come all this way to give up now. I've got an idea. Wilbur and I will get those taros to follow us while you load your hay back into the wagon. Then we'll fly on back and pick y'all up. Easy as sky high cherry pie. That's a great plan, but only if it works. Let's fly, Wilbur. It's time for some high flying distraction action. Who's got your hay? Try and catch us if you can. <laughs> there goes Tara, and there go the pteranodons. Now's our chance. If you rest. You'll feel better soon. Come on, Culver. You have to eat this Dipsy Daisy soup. Blitz is bringing hay bales from the Triceratops barn, but he can't come too close. We don't want him catching the Dipsillies, too. <coughs> Thanks, partner. I don't know what we'd do without you today. <laughs> we We got our hands full with these dip silly dinos. But don't y'all worry. With our help, they'll all get better soon. Does everyone know the number one thing we can do to help? Wash our hands with, with soap and water. water so we don't spread the germs. That's right. After that, we'll all be ready to feed our sick dinos all the Dipsy Daisy soup they can eat. Problem is, we're running low on Dipsy Daisies, and the nearest patch of them is in Compi Valley. I've seen those flowers, Pa. Blitz and I can handle it, no problem. Okay, but be careful. The Pachycephalosauruses will be migrating through Compi Valley, and you don't want to get in their way. Sure thing, Pa. And don't worry, Blitz and I will be back in two shakes of a Compi's tail. Giddy up, buddy. It's Velosa time. <coughs> you okay, Blitz? <coughs> <laughs> Why'd you stop, Blitz? Blitz? What are you gawking at? Are you okay? Okay, then. We gotta get those Dipsy Daisies back home soon. 
Our diners are counting on us. Let's ride! 